Recently I bought the Hawkeye Firefly 7S. It's a nice little action camera that can take photos in RAW format. But the conversion instructions that Hawkeye provides are not really usable. After some experiments I found the way to make proper DNG files from Firefly's RAW photos. I've contacted Hawkeye and they even showed some interest, so I've sent them all the tools and instructions about a month ago and nothing happened. So I thought I should make the video and show you how to deal with these RAW files. You might want to pause this video and download the archive with all the tools. You'll find the link in the description box below. All programs are freeware, so use them as you like. Also, please note that I've changed the original fisheye lens on my camera to 72 degree one. And that's why my pictures have much less geometrical distortions. This doesn't change anything. And the workflow is just the same for the camera with the original lens. So let's begin. Open the first folder and launch the IQ RAW utility. Select your RAW files using Add button. I'm adding one file now, but you can add several files at once. Now set the values as shown on screenshot. Width 3864, height 2896, 12 bits input, 16 bits output, and leave the CFA and color gain as they are. Then press row to row button. You will find processed row files with the longer names in the same folder as the original ones. Now open the second folder and launch row to DNG utility. Drag and drop your processed RAW files to the main window. Press Convert button. This utility makes DNG files and puts them in the same folder. Or you can choose another destination folder if you wish. You can open these DNG files in any mainstream RAW converter now. However, as you see, colors and levels are a bit off. Image looks pale and pinkish. You can adjust it manually, using curves for instance or you can use another utility to correct your images. So let's close this and fix it first. Open the third folder and put your DNG files there. You can put them right here. Or you can place files in the subfolder. I think it's a bit neater, but it's up to you really. Now drag and drop your file or folder to fix.bat. This batch file overrides the original DNG files. And now you can use them for your usual editing. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.